Trips tied in, and the play is PA slot corner. We're going to show you how to beat main coverage with the mesh concept. Now, the mesh concept is my favorite concept of all time because it puts a lot of stress on the opponent because you're able to stretch the field vertically, horizontally, and you're able to really get some good separation against man coverage. Now, if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. It's only 10 bucks to become a member to join the Patreon to get it, and you get access to all of the ebooks and all of the updates. We've already dropped over 14 different ebooks this year, so make sure you're in the Patreon if you're not. Um, PA Sock Corner, we can do a lot with this play because we can utilize motion out of Trips Tied In. And we're going to motion over this corner route, and we're going to turn it into a post route. Now, when you pair a post route with a running back wheel, um, you can do some really cool things with it against zone. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but for, first and foremost, against man coverage. So you have this um, you have this post, you have this wheel. So we're just going to create a mesh concept. So essentially, we're going to flat the outside or the middle trips receiver, and we're going to drag the tight end. So you see here, this is a, what it looks like. The double drags this year, I... I really think they are super good against man. Um, you'll see here, somebody's getting open. Somebody's getting open. Even if it's for like three to five yards, mesh really can stretch the field horizontally. And that's why I love this play because it really is a consistent yard gainer for you. You could run this play every play and it would be hard to consistently stop it. There you see, there's that drag. And as you can see, the two drags just really do a good job of cooking main coverage. The other thing the drags will do for you is depending on what coverage they're in and how they're using that coverage, they will open up the middle of the field for you to be able to throw this post. And that's really the main read on this play. You'll see when he cuts inside, just inside pass lead, and it's going to get open. Now, one of the things about Madden 24 right now that is actually really interesting is let's say, for example, that they were in like a cover for a drop and they shaded their coverage underneath to try to stop, you know, your drag routes and your quick flats. When you pair the running back wheel with this post and really any vertical route on the field, if you have any vertical route on the play, like a streak, a wheel, anything like that, these uh, deep blues, they fall back significantly. And so what I can do, he has mid zone, Sherman has mid zone KO. And um, I can literally throw this post against every coverage in the game. Like even if it's cover three, and I think Ed Reed is back there, he has mid zone KO as well. And you're going to notice, just cuts inside, boom, catch it. Sometimes he will uh, knock it out if he has mid zone. But from my experience, like this is going to be pretty good. Now, the other thing that's important to understand about this is if they climb with the post, so you'll see here this cover three will climb with the post. What that does is now I've got this little quick throw to the back, and I can take my easy five, seven yards. If that defender backs up, it's an easy read for me, and I can just throw the ball. Part of mesh, part of making mesh really good is being disciplined with the concept and taking what the defense gives you. That's why it's such a good and versatile concept. So now I'll show you if they drop down to him, then I can throw this a lot earlier and I can just possession catch it uh, with, a, with a pass lead to the inside against that third defender. OK, so that's another little piece of this. Again, let's say that they go to cover three and they aren't shading down. That means the yellow zones and the purples are going to kind of suction back to him. Then I can check down to my mesh, my little drag routes underneath that are open against everything in the game. And the, uh, the last little part of this is from a, from a mesh perspective is the user will oftentimes defend you as if they were in a mid read zone. So they're kind of like this. Um, you know, and they're going to have some safety help here, but this is basically how uh, a lot of people would defend this if they were usering over the middle is they're going to kind of roll back and try to take away this skinny or this little sharp post. So when they do that, your running back pulls out the flat and then this drag is wide open and you see there that's easy 5, 10, 15 yards um, against this. Don't underestimate the value of these flat routes. It is really... It really is one of the most important pieces of this scheme is you have these flat routes. Now, um, what about like a, a send five pressure? If you look at this alignment here, you're going to see this is uh, obviously really problematic for the defense because we're in a spread alignment. It's hard to match up cover zero with this. And so you'll see this running back quick throw, just quick throw to the flat, get your easy yardage, going to be wide open. Now, let's say the user tries to lurk that. So let's say that they're, you know, in their cover zero blitz, but the user is going to run to the running back. This is where you've got to kind of trust your routes and trust the formation a little bit. But the route we're looking for, if the user goes to the right at the snap of the ball, 
is we are going to basically just quick throw this tight end drag over the middle. The other thing that we have going for us here is we're in a play action play and play action plays typically have a little better blocking than uh, non play action plays. So, you know, again, if I'm usering here trying to get the pressure and let's say, you know, here we are running this play and they kind of adjust it like so. Again, if they get that pressure in, you're just watching that user. You can throw this tight end drag. A lot of times he'll catch that and he'll, you, you could potentially be, it could, be, it could very easily be a touchdown. It could very easily be a touchdown with the way that the game plays right now with the rat catch animations. And what you want to do is you just want to free form it basically to the left. So snap the ball. I see, oh, the running back's taken away. Heavy pressure. I'm throwing that right inside just like that. And a lot of times that can be a big play. Now, there are other ways to run this play where it's a little safer for your offense. One of the ways to do that um, is just to block your running back. I mean, just simply put, you can just easily, if you wanted a little bit more time, let's say they're sending five consistently at you and you want a little bit more pocket uh, time to maybe hit a big play, go ahead and block your running back and then you'll be able to pick up the blitz. And now these, again, these drags with the rack animation, you see how they get that explosive speed burst and they're up the field for a big, uh, big game. Guys, mesh post is really good this year. Um, it's one of the most underrated concepts. Not a lot of people are really talking about how good double drags really are in this game when you pair that with a post route because the post route gets wide open because the middle third defenders, they, they drop back so far this year. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full ebook on this, join the Patreon today. 10 bucks will get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.